What's up guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo and I'm super pumped for today because we are taking our talents to another class crossover and that's Paladin Parnell, it's Evolve, it's 2.0 it's Wraith Trap, it's Arcade, they've messed with the names of the modes, this is basically like uh, unranked and then Hunt Beta is like ranked, but who cares about that, I'm all about this Paladin Parnell, he looks freaking awesome, a mech man covered in freaking chrome, Paladin Parnell is all about sustainability, deal damage with the mutagen shotgun to lower the cooldown of his healing burst, kinda like this guy right above him. Uh, his only source of team healing is from his generous rockets, which heal for a large amount. Lastly, Righteous Fury grants increased fire rate, reload speed, and damage reduction. So the Mugen shotgun up there is a short range shotgun that lowers your heal burst cooldown after hitting a target. So it deals damage like a uh, slim and then reduces the heal burst. But if you go down to heal burst, heal burst is a huge self heal similar to Rogue Val, which gives me a lot of hope that Paladin Parnell is actually going to be pretty darn powerful. Now his generous rocket, similar to his assault ability, uh, fire out and deal massive heals instead of massive damage uh, on your team, so a little bit like Kyra in that sense. And then Righteous Fury uh, simulates his super soldier ability from the assault side of things, a huge brief increase to fire rate, reload speed, and reduce incoming damage. So it'll save him as well as help Help him push out more heals with the rockets uh, and with that shotgun so he could be an absolutely incredible medic let's see what he can do if you guys are pumped for this hit that like button let me know if you want to see more of him uh, in the comments below we'll go swap we'll go reload and we will go capacity so that we are ready uh, to really just use all of his abilities uh, to the fullest extent. It's Paladin Parnell, Tech Sergeant Hank, Electro Griffin, and Blitz Mark of all sorts of adaptations up in here. Let's do battle with Wraith. You are Paladin Parnell. Your mutagen shotgun wounds your enemy while lowering the cooldown on your heal burst. Your generous rockets explode, healing allies caught in the blast while your Righteous Fury increases your rate of fire, reload speed, and protects you from damage. Unlike other medics, your heal burst only works on you, but it works well. Keep your team alive, and they will kill the monster. I sure hope that is the case, Miss Announcer Lady. I like how they switch the announcements uh, of the abilities for the first time you use a, a character to in-game as opposed to uh, sort of that like long load. I think it's kind of cool and adds a little bit of fun. All right, so we've got a shotgun here. He is such a cool looking character. I love the way he looks. That's the shotgun right there. Here are the generous heal rockets uh, that burst and give some nice uh, yellow heals. Now they're generous, sort of like the generous field from Quantum Kyra. So we've got, uh, we've got some really cool, uh, what do you call it, like, lore-based stuff with these adaptations as of late. Now, I don't know if you guys saw or noticed, but if you read the patch notes uh, for today's update with Paladin Parnell, they said that next, the next character that's going to get modified or that's going to get adjusted is Behemoth, and they're giving him a passive ability uh, to make him more powerful, I guess, that is unlike anything that's been seen in Evolve. I have no idea what that could be. Something passive. Maybe he, like, heals up? Maybe his, like... He, like, can absorb rock from around the world. Maybe uh, he can, like, light hunters on fire from afar. I don't know, but we'll have to see what they do soon. It's good to know that they're not just stopping because the, the five weeks of sheer madness are over, but that they're keeping things uh, going strong. All right, so we're going to follow uh, Mr. Tech Sergeant Hank here and see what we can find. We're trailing and taking our talents uh, towards... The monster. I've got no way to help out here in terms of tracking. Oh, they found him. Okay, cool. They've got him domed. I gotta get there quick. All right. Uh, I got my generous rockets ready for heals. Uh oh, and they are gonna need it quickly. Can I get there? Okay, here we go. Big heals for everybody. Nice. I like this. I really like this guy a lot. Look at that. Big heals. And uh, we can go in here and duke it out with the monster if we want. Probably should not mess around with Wraith, but I'm gonna get there just to like. Okay, look at that. Yeah, we deal nice damage. It revives our burst. Okay, whoa, hello. Don't don't mess with me. Anyone need health? Yep, we got some health needed over here. His rockets are a little bit slow firing, and you do have to be pretty accurate with them. Uh, but I'll get used to it. I, I used to play Kyra, so uh, I should be able to do this quite well. Um, faster reload and everything. Let's use that right now to see what it's like. Boom, we activate our Righteous Fury. And then we can go ham with the heals, ham with the shotgun. And I should really go ham with the uh, heals over here. Let's. Oh, wow, look at that. You activate Righteous Fury, you can bring anybody uh, back to almost full strength instantaneously, which is super cool. And I haven't even had to use my own heal burst, uh, but we'll use that in a second after we try to shotgun him. Hello. 
really curious if it's a 75% heal, just like a, what you call it, uh, Rogue Val, but I am loving Paladin Empire now, like, look, let's be honest here, Electro Griffin and Quantum Kyra were really cool to play as, really cool to look at, same with Renegade A, but none of them, I felt for me, were gonna enter my main rotation. Paladin Parnell, though, could be my new go-to guy. I love his ability to heal from afar and self-heal himself. Now, Rogue Val is nice because of the tracking ability, and Paladin Parnell doesn't really have that. But as long as my team was solid on the tracks, then Paladin Parnell would be a great way uh, to really uh, guarantee that you're going to get massive heals uh, very quickly. Look at that guy, tumbling and turning like he's some sort of U.S. gymnastic team. Let's uh, follow Albastein here. Griffin has... Uh, the uh, the right side with Hank, and we're looking for Wraith, who's probably under here, given the fact that this is where they usually are. Yep, there's Wraith back there. We see her. Tagged. Monster tagged. Yep. I don't know. I, healing Rocket's probably not a good thing to, to send it her. Come at me. You want to come at me? Yep. All right. That's cool. I got so much uh, health, and I still have my healing burst, so I'm totally cool. And we're going to dome you, my friend. Get dome city. All right, let's uh, let's go up. Oh wow, I wanted to ha hit on that rock right there. All right, where is it at? Up above? Good. That's probably better for our squad in general, anyways. I really like that he does have one offensive weapon, but this is the most. To me, it's the most medical medic. Yet I'm trying to think if there's anyone more medical than him, uh, but it's this guy has so much healing potential. Uh, it's pretty darn cool. Let's get up here for some altitude. Nobody even really needs heals, but we'll keep them healed just in case they want to stay healthy. It's always good to stay healthy. Tech Sergeant Hank with the tracking beam, I like that. Uh, I am dropped down, which is not good. I'm going to use... Uh, where's my self-heal? Where's my self-heal? I need that self-heal quick! Okay. Pa oh, wow. Okay, it's not as big of a self-heal as I would have liked. Holy crap. I might go down. All right. So, yeah, got to be careful. Paladin Parnell, it's good to know his self-heal is not as large as Rogue Val's. Uh, which is important for me to know. Please don't try to pick me up. Please don't try to pick me up. We're fine. If I hit the dropship, it's okay. Let's just deal damage. I'm sorry that I don't have rockets to go crazy with him on, but I'll stay alive right here just to help you guys take him out as best I can. All right, now you're going to get me up. Three, two, one. They got mines there. That was smart. Okay. There we go. Get some heals on this guy. Look at that. The rockets really are beneficial. So he definitely has less of a self heal than Rogue Val, uh, which is good to notice and know. Uh, but he can dish out, I feel like, more healing damage than Rogue Val. So it's like a, a nice little mix of it all. Um, again, really, really liking this guy a lot. And I wonder, I'll have to look at, like, if it's there. Someone can let me know in the comments. Is it 50% on his self heal or is it 40 or is it 60? Um, definitely not 75, that's for sure. But uh, I like the fact that he kind of merges a little bit of Slim, a little bit of Rogue Val, a little bit of Kyra. He's kind of like not only crossing Parnell over to the medic class, but crossing over a lot of medics uh, all into one, which is pretty sweet. All right. So I guess popping his, his Righteous Fury is probably good as well since it, it reduces uh, incoming damage as well. I forgot that it does that besides the reload, but the reload and fire rate is probably great for the shotgun as well. Because the shotgun kind of fires slower than I expected it to. But let's get after this Wraith. I think we're going to get her done as long as there's not a quick stage 3 evolution. Stealth Pounce bonus. Uh, not the best ability. The rockets don't have as good of a radius as I was expecting. But they still have a pretty solid radius. And we, again, we can heal quite well from afar. Should be able to get a dome here. Uh, took off. There we go. Alright, nicely done. My squad here for no communication is doing a pretty good job of all sticking together, tracking well, hunting nicely. Monsters armor channeling where? Up here. Okay. Heading back into this corner. Okay, I'm pounced. Someone needs to help me. My heal burst. Let's go ham on that reload. Boom, 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 pop it. Yeah. You combo those and you can deal some serious damage. And get your heal burst back real quickly, which is great. Alright, let's take uh Griffin. Let's give him some health back. Look at that. Firing those rockets. Again, with that, you can recharge him so quickly. I would not get in there, especially if he has warp blast available, guys. Do not mess around with this guy. He will punish you. Oh god. Crap, you gotta get down here, buddy. Yeah. 
It's a little tricky to get getting used to the rockets. I'm gonna have to plan out that a little better, uh, where I want them to be. I almost got him revived, actually. If I could just pop my uh, Righteous Fury again, that would be good. As of right now, though, we'll keep him here. We're feeling good damage. Here, I bet with Righteous Fury I can get this guy back up quickly. Let's see. Come on, reload. There we go. Back up. Okay, and we did great damage to Wraith. So, yeah, I really like Paladin Parnell. I seriously, this is Rogue Valon Paladin Parnell. Uh, I mean, obviously, Blitz Marker is pretty cool and Tech Sergeant Hank, but I think, for me... Rogue, Val, and Paladin Parnell are my two favorite Hunter adaptations. Or I hope they do more. I would love to see a Laz adaptation as well as um, uh, Crow would be sick too. Mega Mouth, Mega Mouth. Shouldn't have aggravated you. 30 seconds on the dome charge. And uh, we're rocking and rolling pretty well here as a squad. Wraith's got a couple bars of health left. If we can get her pinned once more before that stage 3 evolution, we should be very, very good. Uh, all right, she's back here, probably trying to hide and eat. 13 seconds, I'm guessing. The oh, dang. Okay. So this is going to be a good, interesting battle. I'll we'll have to see how well uh, Paladin Parnell can keep the team uh, alive here. All right. The relay is vulnerable. It's dome. Got you domed. Probably should not go up here myself, but uh, I want to make sure that I can dip out of here. Yep. Okay, thanks for the shields. Uh, let's head up here. Way to get the speed burst, Mr. Trapper. Okay. Wraith is really trying to be evasive. Nobody's even taking damage. It looks like Wraith is just trying to run, given the fact that... uh. Doesn't have a whole lot of shields. Okay, nice. Where is it? Mark it, somebody. Keep your health up there. Cozy light. There he is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We okay. We're all good. We're all good. There we go. Keep everybody healthy. Palaparno really does a good job of mitigating jam damage uh, by making sure. But everyone stays good. Again, you know, we don't really have the greatest damage with Electro Griffin and whatnot, but come on, Blitz. Damage up. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm totally in the corner here. Okay, yep. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my God. There. Uh, really trying to take me out here. It might get me. Dodging. Trying my best. Popping that heals. Yeah, we're going to take him out here. We're going to take him out here. Keep. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm down, but they should be able to get him. Sacrifice myself. They focus on me. And again, Parnell did a great job of keeping his health for as long as he did with that shotgun, with the Righteous Fury, and uh, with the rest of it. Please finish him off. Everybody's going down. This is not good, but please. Oh, God. Come on. We got to finish him off. He's got so little help. Just take it all to him. I'm firing the shot. The freaking pistol. Ah! Yes, that's a victory. Paladin Parnell is so cool. Ah! I... Can I type? Let me type. I guess not because the round's over. I was going to say, like, dude, Paladin Parnell is the nastiest, most amazing medic I have ever seen. I seriously love him. Seriously love him. He is awesome. This guy is... Beautiful. Seriously, though, so cool. I'm so hyped because, again, a lot of times it's like, okay, they're kind of cool. I kind of like them, but like this guy, legit, I'm going to play him more and I'm going to bring him to my team uh, and we are going to check him out together. So that's Paladin Parnell. Let me know what you think. 13. Look at those threes. Lucky number three. My favorite number is 13, so it's got to be a good thing. And we got Lucky 77 over there. Freaking awesome. Paladin Parnell, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. I am super psyched that somebody awesome and new has been added to my medic rotation. This is going to be a blast. Until next time, guys and girls, thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Uh, and just to show you, Hunt Beta and Arcade are the new names there in Co-op AI Custom, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, let's check the store in case there's any updates there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know if there's any new skins added today. Maybe later in the week. La, 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 la. Uh, Parnell Man Eater skin. What about Paladin Parnell skin? I'm sure they'll bring us one. But until that time, everyone, drink so much all. Thanks again. He is awesome. And we'll see you all later. I love him. <laughs>